Hello and welcome to another episode of Code Time. My name is Pete Medina and in this episode we're going to change the navigation links. So right now we have home, about, blog, and contact. Down on the very bottom of the site we also have these social media links down here. Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then email. Now these were generated automatically when this site was set up. This is of course assuming a fresh WordPress install. If you're doing this on an existing theme, then your nav links might be different. But in any case, let's go ahead and update what we have here. So choose the customized tab. And once that loads, we wanna choose this menus section here. And there we go. So we have two menu areas. We have social links menu and top menu. I'm going to choose social links menu first since that's the one that's on the top. And let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here so we can see our changes in real time. So we have Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and email. Let's go ahead and remove Yelp. So I'm going to click this drop down here and choose remove. And you'll see that it updated it right there. Let's move Instagram to the front of the list. So I'm going to click it and drag it up. And you'll see that it, oops, there we go. All right, so what if we wanna add a new social link? Well, let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to choose add items. And then I'm going to choose right here where it says custom links. I'm going to write for the URL. So we have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Let's go ahead and put Pinterest in there. So I'm going to do pinterest.com slash. And then I'll click add to menu. Oops, I need a link text. I'll put Pinterest in there. There we go, and add to menu. So notice that as soon as I did that, it automatically inserted the appropriate icon for me. So whenever you create these social links here, as long as it's a recognized social media site, and by that I mean as long as the theme recognizes it, then it'll automatically generate the appropriate link for you. It's totally possible that there are links out there that don't that aren't recognized by the 2017 theme. So don't be surprised if you enter either a brand new or an obscure social media site on here and it doesn't generate a little icon for you. But in most cases, if you're using one of the existing very popular social media sites, you should be able to just type in the URL and the title and then have that icon appear below. Let's go ahead and move email to the very bottom of that list. There we go. All right, so you'll see again, as we do all this, it automatically updates it here in real time. All right, so let's go ahead and change our main navigation right here. I'm going to click this back arrow, and then I'll choose where it says top menu. And this is very similar to what we just did. Right now it has links to our homepage, about page, blog, and contact. So let's go ahead and move blog before about. I'll click that and drag it up. There we go. Now, what if we want to create a sublink or a dropdown? Well, that's easy enough to do as well. I'm going to choose contact and I'm just going to drag it out a little bit. And notice that when I did that, it appears as if it's nested under about. Now when I hover over this about link right here, you'll see that I have contact. So that's how you would create dropdown links. And of course we can add another item here. I'm just going to put a little placeholder hashtag here and just put second sub link in there just as a demonstration and add to menu. Now when I do that by default it appears right here as a regular link but I'm going to put it here nested under about as well. There we go so now when I hover over about I have contact and second sub link. Now of course just like before if you want to remove it just choose the drop down and click remove. Now, whenever you have any of these links open, you can always update the URL. You can also choose to have it open in a new tab if you want. So the default is to have that off. You can change the navigation label, and you can add title attributes which appear when you hover over it, as well as custom CSS classes and some other options here, including relationship and description. So descriptions will appear if the blog theme supports it. Not all themes support it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that with this blog option. So I'm going to choose this drop down here. And under description, I'll write, this is our blog. Now notice that even though I wrote a description, the 2017 theme doesn't display it. All right, but if I were to ever change to another theme, it's possible that that theme would put a little description underneath that link. So that is what that does. All right, so notice too that as we work on both those social links and these top links, we have these two menu locations. 
And right now it says top menu and social links menu. So if I were to check social links menu, you'll see that it generates these generic links here, right, as the icons. Basically what happens is those social links are specifically made for social media sites. When I check this social links right here, then my regular nav also appeared in the social links section, but because these aren't social media sites, it's just generating a generic link icon. We don't really want that, so I'm going to uncheck that. But notice that when I did that, those social media links disappeared. So we're going to have to go back and recalibrate those. In the meantime, let's take a look at menu options right here. It says automatically add new top level pages to this menu, and that's off by default. Now what that means is if I were to create a new page, so say you know, something other than about or contact, maybe it's called a portfolio or something like that, if this is checked, then that top level page will automatically appear in this nav. It's a good idea to keep it off by default though because not every page that you create on your site is something that you want to have on your main global navigation. So make sure that that's off just as a good practice. And with that, let's go ahead and leave this top menu section, go back to our social links, and check this social links menu option right here so that they reappear on the bottom. There we go. All right, so that does it for this episode. Make sure that you choose publish. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.